Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're in a mystical world of dreams and high off Avatrine for some reason. Because today we're continuing the HSR 2.1 story and fighting probably one of the hardest bosses I've ever seen. So we're going to be doing that, possibly warping for more copies of Acheron, hopefully get some upgrades for our characters, and even more to come. But with all that being said, let's get in to today's video. Also, make sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit 100,000. So subscribe. All right. So for all those who aren't caught up with the HSR 2.1 story, let's give a little recap up until now. So last episode, we escaped the dream world with Black Swan and then immediately went to a scene with Acheron murdering the living hell out of Duke Inferno and then not revealing who Sam is, which I'm still a little pissed about. Then we go back and hang out with the Trailblaze crew and talk about nothing for like 10 minutes. But then Acheron Akron shows up and Welt threatens her with for gravitational disintegration. She didn't care and then they became best friends. After that, Avatrine glazed up Dr. Ratio a little bit. Doctor, you're huge. And then immediately after was betrayed by him in about 2.1 seconds. And then immediately after that happening, Sunday cast a spell on him, which apparently, Avatrine buddy, you're dead in about 16 seconds or so. So let's try to change that. Today, we're going to be trying to save Avatrine's life. Uh, will it happen? I'm not sure. Not going to lie though, would love to get out of this mode as soon as possible though, be because the red and yellow trippy effect is starting to bring back like really bad memories. NPC number three, what do you have to say? Probably nothing important. NPC number 45, what do you have to say? Nothing important. Cool. What's up, little child? Why are you gambling? That's not a good way to start life. Trust me, I know. You Sigonians are better off hiding in the soup. Wait, I recognize that voice. Sparkle! You did, Blondie. <laughs> she just called him Blondie. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should take offense to that or not. We'll let that one slide. It means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. If that's not preluding to his death, I don't know what is. We're back! We're no longer in Avatrine POV. Let's go! We got Gallagher here. And, uh, si si Subon. Subon. Who the hell is this? She looks like a playable character. I don't know if she is or not. There's no way this isn't an upcoming character, right? She looks sick. Mikhail, the betrayer of the family, he's the watchmaker. That one character from Xenoblade? Some time later. Oh, we're in the new area now. And what's with all the people in suits? I ain't ever dressed that nice in my entire life. I'm 13. What the? Like hell you are. Okay, we're back in Acheron POV now. And there's a dinosaur down there. I think we have to fight that thing. What do we do against this thing? Well, we just got to win. I think is kind of the result we're going for here. Let's go. Wabam, 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 boom. I do no damage to that thing. What the hell? Don't murder me. Oh, he's not at me like a chicken. Time to die, dinosaur. Bop him, kill him, murder. We win. Nice. Oh, free light cone? Ain't no way. Free light cone? I don't think I actually got it. No, I didn't. Sag. I don't think trespassing on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. You know, sometimes you just happen to wander into places. My bad, man. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? Nope, that's not how that works in video games. You ever play Pokemon? Who the hell is that? Uh, Jade? I know who that is. But whenever she comes out, I will be there. Hello there. We're back in Avatrine mode, so I kind of have to avoid every fight again like we did in last episode to prevent me from breaking the rules of the challenge. And he's also turned into a schizophrenic for some reason. I don't know what's happening anymore. To be honest, I'm completely lost. What the hell is this? Excuse me? What am I doing? Ah! Clocky's extra hamster ball night fast and fury nuts. Fury nuts. That's not a word. Okay. What am I doing? Am I collecting the nuts? I imagine I have to avoid that thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I got it. Just avoid the big black balls. Easy enough. I'm actually curious. What happens if I hit it? Oh, okay. Nothing. I just kind of slow down a little bit. Okay, cool. Sounds pretty easy. Just kind of... Wow, this minigame's kind of a joke. Oh, wait. I can kill them? 
Oh, you're dead, coward. Out of my way. Ooh, nice little dodge. Oh my goodness, I'm so clean with it. I could be the best Fury Nut player to ever touch this planet. Is this a maze? A flower maze? Wait, this is kind of awesome. I mean, it's really more or less a maze. There's a dead end and then a very clear direction you have to go. And then a dead end and a very clear direction you have to go. Very difficult maze, guys. You almost had me there. Why the hell am I on you now? Wait a minute, what's this? On you launcher? Ain't no way. Wait. <laughs> what the hell is that? That's awesome. Oh, that's the greatest thing of all time. Boom. It's best to die without regrets. Oh, you're dead as hell, huh? <laughs> oh, you're dead as hell. Well, at least we'll get one last photo of this random little kid. How nice. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God. VIP. Let's just not go. And if we don't go, then he can't die, can he? Let's get going, everyone. <sighs> Why are we always the dumbest ones in the room? If we just didn't go, then this would just never happen. Okay, well, Avatrine is calling for us and we're too stupid to say no. And I think if we talk to March 7th here, I believe this is gonna activate the fight. Am I ready? Definitely not. Am I gonna go anyways? Yes, because I have no choice. All right, here we go. I imagine that grayed out shadow is probably Avatrine. He's weak to electric, ice, and physical. Okay, so Akron and Kafka are obviously must brings. Pela, definitely a must bring. But the third character, I'm a little indifferent on. So we have Silverwolf. That's probably a good option. Obviously, Luca, I could bring for physical, but he's not that great. But this is a toughie for the fourth choice. I think we're going to go with Silverwolf. Sounds like the best option. But anyways, let's just start this and give it our very first attempt. Avatrine, I don't know why you're doing this, what reasons you have, or if you're gonna die, but all I know is that I'm not ready for this boss fight. And frankly, this is the most nervous I've ever been for a fight in this series so far. Everyone, give it up for Man That's me! That's me! A truly grand death. Us? You think you finna kill us? As if. You stupid idiot. We're literally the main characters. We can't die. How else would the plot progress, you idiot? Okay, here we go! Avatrine time. Oh my god, we're already taking damage. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, that was the first turn. Could you relax? The hell is this? Okay, we need to break him. I'm gonna use Kafka verse just so I can break him first turn. Please don't have stupid dialogue barrier. Hell yeah, you don't. Okay, boom. 58%. Lower the defense. Oh my god. Why do you do so much? Ba-boom, ba-boom. 16-8. Good stuff, Acheron. Okay, we're on to second phase. But Jesus Christ, Kafka's already dead. Oh my god. What the hell? It's over. Goodbye. Goodbye, Silver Wolf. Oh my gosh. Well, now that you've seen what we're dealing with, let's try to find some ways to make it a little bit easier. So the first thing I noticed while I was walking up here is that I can't actually open my inventory to give myself food buffs. Now, I'm not exactly sure if we can apply them before we enter and then they will activate. Let me try this out quickly. So if I activate a food buff outside of the arena, like this pizza, for example, if I go in, will the buff stay with me? That's all I really need to know. Okay, let's see here. The buff, I think that's the buff right there, right? Surely that's it. Yes, okay, the buff does stick with us. Okay, good. So the first thing which we can obviously do is get up some food buffs. We're gonna synthesize these prayer machines, which we use all the time because these things are absolutely clutch as hell. They restore us a thousand HP every turn for the first five turns. We're gonna need a couple of these. Actually, let me just buy like 10 million of these things because we are gonna need so many of these things in this series. Now, the next thing we need is some sort of attack buff. Now, there are a couple options. So the first one that I really like is this little ice cream cone right here. It increases all our allies attack by 60%. However, the downside is that there is a small chance to target the wrong enemy. But I feel like that's okay because most of the characters we have in our party are AOE damage dealers anyways. I'm not too worried about that. 
All right, moving on from consumables, there's some more things we can do. One of those is just upgrading my characters as much as possible, getting them on good light cones, and hopefully improving them just a little bit. For example, the first thing we're going to do is switch over Silver Rose Light Cone to my Black Swan Light Cone. That's going to give her a slight little improvement there. And then for Pela, we're going to switch this Light Cone and give her the Silver Wolf Light Cone to give her a little more effect hit rate and a little more defense reduction. We actually also have the ability to take my Acheron to 10, 10, 10, which I feel like is a great decision. And that's going to be our first triple crowned, except that's not a thing in this game, unit. And actually, we can upgrade some Pela Traces too. Let's upgrade your talent and let's upgrade your skill as well. Boom. Two more Pela upgrades. And I think that's pretty much going to complete our little team here. But there's one last thing we need to do. I said at the beginning of the video that we would roll for Akron constellations. And I meant it. We don't have that many warps. We have around three ten poles. But truthfully, I don't see another Nihility character coming for the far future. So I think we're going to go all in and try to get ourselves an Akron constellation or potentially some more Pela Eidolons. Because currently, my Pela is only Eidolon 3, and the more of these we get for her, the better she is. So, we can't really lose here. Let's try and get an early Acheron. That would be amazing. Please happen. Damn it. Give me Pela. Pela, please. I swear to God, if I see that stupid drunkard, please screw off. <laughs> Damn it. We go again. Another 10. Boom. Ah, <sighs> this is tough. I really want E1, man. Pela, Pela. Come on. Yes. That's amazing. There we go. One Pela Eidolon. She is now Eidolon 4. We need two more of those, plus an Acheron, which we're going to get right. Okay. All right, we got one last temple here. Let's see if we can make it happen. Please! Okay. Oh, well, at least we got another Pela. And I do actually have a couple more Stellar Jades here. We got 1,100. And plus, I haven't done my Ember Exchange yet. Ooh, actually, we do have one more temple. The official last temple. Please, this is it. One Acheron. Damn it! Oh, <laughs> but we got E6 Pela. You know what? That's actually really good. We may have not got Acheron, but we got the second best thing. We got four Pelas in a row, meaning we now have an E6 Pela, and that will be a huge improvement. And I think now it's really time to go back on our mission. Okay, here we go. Let's go again. Whew, okay. Okay. I'm ready this time. You aren't getting me twice, Avatrine. Or you might actually, because Jesus Christ, you deal so much damage. Wabam. 87, 82. All the way down to 68. We need to crit a lot more. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Oh, God. Oh, we saved it. Oh, it's gone. Nice. I don't know what we just did there, but I ain't complaining. We go again. All the way down. We broke him. 38%. This is going a lot better than last time. This is going way better than last time. We're all at full HP. We still have three more turns of the prayer machine too. Ah. Okay. On to second phase. Oh God. Please don't die, Kafka. Okay, we're good. We're back. But unfortunately, we're out of the prayer machine. So we have no more sustain. We're out of sustain. 138k. That's not enough, Acheron. Why didn't I... Wait, why didn't I defense shred with Pela before? What am I doing? I'm throwing so hard. Please, Kafka, do something useful. 68. 65. Kafka's dead. What the hell is this? No, stop doing this. Screw your little dice thingy. Be gone. Be gone, dice. What is this bull crap? Oh, no. Oh, they're dead. Oh, my God. They're dead. We need to go. We got three defense shreds on him. And we have Akron. That's all I need. That's all I need. That's all I need. <gasps> no. Are you kidding me? We're so close. Break him. Yes. Please, Akron. 1%. Surely. Surely. That's it. Tell me that's it. Oh, we did it. Oh my god, we did it! I can't believe that. Eat that, idiot. Well, I guess you're dead now, Avatrine. That's unlucky. Throw up a defense. 
I can still use my abilities. Bop him on the head. <laughs> Uh, I'm having way too much fun with this. And now Akron has activated white mode. Jesus Christ, Akron, get some sun, man. Damn, you could use a tan. She looks like one of those kids who locked themselves in the basement and never came out for 10 years. Oh boy. Meanwhile, memory zone depths. Where the hell am I? Ain't no way. You! Take off your stupid armor. Is Are you going- <gasps> Ain't no way. No. Ain't no way. But I am. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you did not just drop me with a to be continued. And why the hell are we talking to Gallagher? This is the most random transition of all time. It'll only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. What? Gallagher ain't the killer. He's too stupid. And he drinks a lot. And has a really dumb looking beard. It ain't him. <laughs> Oh no, he chuckled. Oh, it's over. <laughs> oh, okay, he full on laughed. Oh God, it really is him. Oh my God. <laughs> it is him. What? Oh, oh, no. Hey, yo, free light cone. Let's go. Trailblaze mission interlude. No, you cannot leave me on that cliffhanger. Well, that was something. I, what? I think we're going to end the episode there for today. That was probably a short one, but my goodness, was it an entertaining one. Gallagher is a traitor. Avatrine is dead as hell. And I somehow beat that fight. I don't know how we did it, but hey, it all worked out in the end. But for today, that's going to be the end of our Nihility Only episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm going to see you all in the next one. Peace.